Hey everyone, this is Kareem, and today I'm going to show you how to do a text flyby in Sony Vegas. So this is what your final effect will look like. Alright, so first things first, I'm going to insert one video track per letter in my word, and then a bonus one. So my word will be Oreo, since you know that's like the best cookie out there. And then one bonus track, so there's going to be five tracks. Insert video track five times. There we go. I'm going to go to the top track. Right click. Insert text media. Once I'm done that, I'm just going to put my title in. All unbold in this case. It doesn't really matter what you do. You don't always have to copy exactly what I do because it's your title. I'll just pick a text I like. And I'm just going to go to properties and scale it up a bit just because that looks a bit small right now. So there we go. I have my word. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to right click, copy or control C, and then just paste it inside all four bottom tracks. When this window comes up, just create a new copy of the source media. So just like that. Go back to the beginning. And there we go. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to. Sh we're going to see why this top track is there, anyways. So what you're going to do is you're going to take out the top track and just put it outside of the rest of them, and then take this second track and move it out as well. Then I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to go to generated media for the second track, and make that letter an O. Take every other letter out, just like that. Then I'm going to go to video event pan slash crop for this track. And I want to realign this O with that O of the word Oreo. So I'm just going to hold the control key and keep pressing right on my keyboard, the right arrow, until it meets up with the other O. So there we go. Once I've done that, I'm going to just minimize this track bar kind of. And I'm going to go to however long I want this to take. So in my, I think I want 10 milliseconds. So I'm going to click that. I'm going to apply a keyframe, go back to the first keyframe, and make sure that your lock, your aspect ratio is locked. If you can't see this properties bar, just click this little arrow right here, show properties. And I'm just going to zoom by the O, just like that, until your O is out of the picture. And now if I play it back, the O goes right into the other O. So now I'm just going to put that back where it is and I'm gonna bring out the third track just like that and bring it to the same spot the other one was and in this case I'm gonna go to media generators or yeah and I'm just gonna keep everything except the R or take everything out except the R so then I'm gonna go to event pan slash crop do the exact same things I did last time so align the R there we go I'm going to minimize that track bar, go to 10 milliseconds, apply keyframe, back to the first one, and I'm going to zoom by it. In this case, the R is just, it won't zoom by, it's just going to stay on the screen. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm just going to have to move down slightly so that the R gets out of the way of the screen. Just like that, move down a bit more. And now, when I play that one back, the R goes right into place. So I'm going to do the same thing for each letter until I'm done the whole word. And there we go. So now I've done each letter, and I no longer need this top track. So I'm just going to right click, delete track. So now I have each letter, and if I play it back, they all come down at the same time. It's kind of trippy. So what I want to do is I want to make it so that each letter comes down at its own time, starting from the O to the last O. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the event pan slash crop for the top track. I'm going to click the second keyframe, and once I've done that, just exit this window, and your time bar will be 
where you click the keyframe on the uh, keyframe bar and then I'm just going to take the second track and snap it to that timeline. Make sure that you have this enable snapping clicked otherwise it's going to be hard to get it on the exact area where the keyframe was. So just like that, now I have it, and I'm going to do the same thing for each track going downward. So I'm going to go second keyframe, click it, just like that. Go to the keyframe for that one, click it, done. So now when I play it back, O-R-E-O, -E just like that, Oreo. And then I want to finish it off, I'm going to make them stop at a certain point so four seconds all of them are gonna end and fade out so I'm gonna split each one delete the remaining pieces of it and just fade them just like that and connect each fade and then now when I play it O R E O and they all fade out it's really simple there's a lot of cool effects you can do um, I've tried multiple things such as underlining the word after I've done it, stuff like that. Just be original, try your own things out. Um, this is a cool effect. I'm telling you everyone, half the things you can do with Adobe After Effects can be done with Sony Vegas. Trust me, it just takes a bit more time. So, um, thanks. Hope this helps. Subscribe. Peace.